Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. Don't you love shoreline fishing? It's been like an hour since a major thunderstorm. I got a nice bass right here on the shoreline on the same Costco, Costco. I just said Costco. Oh, look at this bass. Let me just get this done. Hang on. <laughs> the same Catchco Pro Series worm that I had on my last mystery tackle box slam attempt. It's about 5.30 in the evening. The sun is right behind me. It's beautiful. Look at that bass. Isn't that beautiful? So drop shot from the shoreline. Folks, you know I'm very big on the drop shot, and I'm very big on using the drop shot here in my local lake. So this is just a couple hours on the shoreline, hopefully whacking a few more of these tonight. So stay tuned. Got a couple more rods over there with a couple more rigs. So depending on what happens, it could be an interesting night. Let's get another look at that really awesome bait by Ketchco Pro Series. There it is, that little kind of greenish pumpkin, black fleck, really awesome light here with that sun right behind me. So that's what I'm doing. I just bit the tip off a little bit because it just got tore up a little bit with that last fish. But I got a basic little uh, two-art worm hook right here. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be working that Texas rig. There's, you know, there's some sunken logs and all kinds of debris and, and stuff down there to get hung up on. So I'm just gonna be going in just, just barely in the tip and coming out the flat side and I'm gonna just bury that hook and not cover the eye. Just not covering the eye allows that line to move that bait perfectly. And we're just gonna gently bury the hook. So two watt worm hook, five pound test, eight ounce tungsten lead, just a little cylinder, cylinder deal. So it's a great option from short. If you didn't notice, that's a little shorter leader. I don't have that short, that long a leader on that drop shot to the sinker because it's pretty darn shallow out here. And those fish are really hugging the bottom. And if anything, they might be on those beds. So I don't doubt I'll be running this drop shot over a couple beds out here. And hopefully if the, the big one, the big mom is on the bed, she'll hopefully see it. So I'm gonna send it up a little crawfish scent and away we go. When I'm fishing from shore and I'm working a drop shot, it's it's just like working it from a boat. I mean, there is no movement with this, guys. You just let that thing sink to the bottom, just dead stick it. If you're doing any movement, you're moving the line, you're not moving the sinker, just a little, just a little tick of the rod tip. Just give it a little action, and after a couple seconds in one place, you just reel up the slack and just give it a slow, slow drag, a couple inches, just keep it there. In super clear water, that little drop shot worm's gonna draw some attention from a distance. Those fish will come over and investigate and then they'll just see it sitting there barely moving, real subtle motions with your rod tip and they'll just suck it in and just give it a nice firm pull and lean into the fish. Those light wired hooks will, will bury it pretty much every time. So be patient with the drop shot and you'll get more fish and bigger fish than you could ever imagine. Never take your eyes off the ball when it comes to throwing a Senko, folks. I was playing with my line and it was sinking down. And also never leave home without a Senko, especially when you're shoreline fishing. Here comes bass number two. And it's a pretty nice one, guys. I'm telling you what, that's the second rod reel combo I had with me. Had my Crucial Shimano rod, six foot eight, medium, extra fast, and that is on 10 pound test fluorocarbon with just a green pumpkin Senko. Just let it sink. Guys, come out here with a drop shot and a Senko and a shaky head doing some shoreline fishing, finesse style on a pressured clear water lake. You can load up. So there's bass number two. Let's see if I can get a few more before this sun's behind the hills. So there's Texas Rig Senko. Again, second rod reel combo. Again, with the second bait I used, a Senko, with the big bite, extra wide gap, four aught mustad hook that was in the mystery tackle box from this month, April. So I didn't change up anything from my last video. I had the drop shot identical, didn't even change up. It's only been two days, and I had the Senko all tied on. I actually had a fluke on it, but I just kept the hook on there and changed up to a Senko, and there's bass number one on the Senko. See if I can pay attention this time as it sinks. See if I get bit. I think I caught that one just in the nick of time. Them carp are crazy. Oh. 
Oh boy. Okay guys, this is gonna be one heck of a sign out fish if it is what I think it is. It feels big. It's a good fish on my drop shot and I went to the robo worm and the sun has dipped and it's a heck of a fish too. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see if I can get it in on five pound test. Oh, stay on baby, it's a good one. It's a good one. Springtime shoreline guys. If you guys are out in the mid-Atlantic, we've got temperatures in the 70s right now. This is a giant. Oh, come here. Please don't get off. Oh, it's a good one. Come here. <laughs> I can't even take it, guys. I love shoreline fishing. And I came down here literally for just an hour and a half on my local lake, ultra pressured, ultra clear. I say it all the time. I'm telling you right now, when the water temperature gets to 70 some degrees, the shoreline and the springtime is some of the absolute best times to get out here on the water. So folks, finesse it up on your pressured lakes, lighten up the line, shrinking down the baits get some real tiny things out there and bass like that are there waiting for you so folks as always i appreciate you joining me as always i appreciate you subscribing and until we meet again over and out back she goes